just like to turn one over right there. I done had four trucks go out of here and ain't none of them had no trouble. I thought that one was gone. My heart stopped. Mm, mm, mm. Get on the dozer here. Catch him. Dang it. The reason why I said dang it is because the door was locked on the dozer. I dig my key out to unlock it. Actually, on the front bump, jumped up in the air when it sat down. See, he ain't far. He didn't swing out wide enough. So you see where his truck's sitting? His truck's on the left-hand side of the road. quick like whether somebody knows what they're doing or not because you can't even though these machines are as big and as powerful as they are they can't do it by themselves they, they got to help you do it can't be scared doing this kind of stuff. You got to just bow up and get it, man, to do it. And you got to swing out. Trailer duels were where they started out at right there. You see that? They needed to bend over here where those tracks are. But that's where his truck, that's his truck. Tandem tracks right there. gas well right quick while I'm on the ground and look for metal for Derek. A lot of times these old pads, gas well pads, they'll be, they'll just throw steel pipe and stuff like that out off 
the air German stuff, you know. And you ruin a thousand dollar set of teeth in a split second if you hit some of it. This ground is wet. What are you talking about? There's a single cylinder engine there. If there's going to be some, it's going to be right here around this fringe. Right here is where it's going to be off an edge of the woods. place for a rattlesnake too or a copperhead Derek's truck farm. Three hundred and fifty RPMs minimum, seven hundred max, one hundred ninety-five cubic inches, three point three liters, fourteen horsepower. Weighs 1,640 pounds.
can tell his teeth are about shot on that thing just by how it sounds. He'll get some of the limbs out of that one now. Tear it out. There you go. He'll throw them over and then he'll use them to track on top of because that's going to be wet down through there. He'll hold him up. And he's liable to still go down. That's what you got to do to hold that machine up. That's a good tree there. You're gonna knock that dead one down. gonna be Matt take it and throw it crossways in front of you and get your tracks on it hold you up that nowhere is gonna be Matt just keep bridging your pad to go out on Whoop, missed it. there you go he got it Them tops. Getting greedy. Always trying to get one more. So this is that spot I filmed a while ago where Derek was cutting at. And look at how different it looks now. All the trees are gone except for that one dead one. A lot of times we leave those dead ones standing and uh, the reason we do sometimes, a lot of them get knocked down just by trees hitting them and stuff like that. But if we can leave them standing, sometimes we will because uh, that's a good habitat for uh, a lot of different critters. Those old dead rotten, rotten in trees like that. But, you can see he's hopped across the road over here, cut that ridge top out. We will not be getting down in that gully right there for that stuff right there. You just hit it. You just hit it and run with it on this on this job right here like this is what you do. 
So we're about to eat some lunch and uh, and we'll get back and wrap the day. Yeah, that'll work. So I instructed him this time to swing out in that curve right there and don't let that trailer drop off. Cause man, that, that's what you don't want. You don't want a truck turned over. He did better that time. That truck right there is pretty long too. It's really not, that's a road truck, not really set up for the woods. Cut that turn short, bad short. See the trailer tracking off the road. You have to, uh, when you own these log trucks, you have to stick them noses over basically in the ditches on the other side of the road, and it ain't going nowhere. But you got to trust it. You got to stick that nose all the way across. You can't cut it short. If you cut it short and that trailer drops off, that trailer will turn you over every time. It'll turn you. It'll turn that truck over. And man, when that trailer turns over, the trailer turns over first. The trailer hits the ground first. Just flips the truck over. And when it hits, it hits hard too, buddy. What you talking about? They don't turn over at the same time together. It's usually always the trailer goes over goes over first and then it springs that, that truck over. It's got 16 today, even as wet as it was, surprisingly. I'm not in my truck, I'm in my Jeep today. Got some dudes came up a while ago, they say they're stuck down the road down here. They said that they we're checking gas wells in a two-wheel drive truck and anytime that kind of worries me a little bit you know what I mean and I don't have my well after I put my roof back on my Jeep the last time I don't have my control you know they may be legit and then again they may not they you know, a lot of meth goes on up here in this area and uh, I think Derek said he had a chain. I'm gonna go down here and check on them right quick. All right, so this is the oil that they're supposed to be on. And he claimed that the GPS routed them. Well, I see their tracks right here. Hmm. Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, I don't think that they're legit or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yup. Yeah, they done they done lied to me about what they doing. See they're down in here up under this power line down here. I hate stuff like this right here. What the heck? Huh. Ain't no GPS done routed them down through there here like this right here, man. <sighs> They're in a two-wheel drive truck also. I do have my Glock 19 on me right now. All right, so there's a truck, Zed. They're in a two-wheel drive truck. What they doing, they out here joyriding is what they doing. They done screwed up and they messed around and then got, and yeah, this is wet right here. Good, gracious alive. I'm gonna screw around and be stuck here. 
Lord. We're gonna see. My Jeep ain't gonna pull him out of here. So what happened is, is they out there joyriding on the clocks, what they're doing, and they fooled around and got down there under that power line and got stuck in that uh, in that pickup truck, that company truck. And see, they're supposed to just be checking them gas wells and not meant to be going off road or anything like that. And they did, and I told old boy I couldn't do nothing with it. I mean, they, the back bumper of that thing was sitting on the ground. But I felt really uneasy when the when the one boy come out. He had a he had a pipe in his hand, and I wasn't gonna bend down and and hook that chain. I told him I said you want to hook that chain. I ain't hooking that chain because I ain't want to be bent down. Him rear back and hit me in the back with that pipe or whatever you know. But I'm real leery. I want to help people, but man. And you get your butt killed too, you know what I mean? So I tried to pull them four four different times and that truck was just buried too bad. And so I told him, I said, you just got to call somebody. I mean, they work for a company. They man enough to joy ride and get buried up. They man enough to make a call and get somebody to come get a record. Somebody come, come pull them out there. So I can usually spot, man, when somebody's uh, not being truthful with me and all so let's go to the house <laughs>